Hello everyone, it's Janelle and today's video is my top 10 nail art essentials plus one bonus honorable mention. First off, let's talk about studs and rhinestones. Normally I buy them online from Amazon or the Born Pretty store. They do sell them at Sally's, but they're friggin' expensive, so I'd rather get them online because it's a lot cheaper. Even with the plain nail polish color, adding studs and rhinestones really makes the nails pop. It's kind of like jewelry for the nails and it makes such an impact for such little effort really. Speaking of studs, how to get them on? Well, I use a wax pencil that I bought from Amazon for a few dollars. It's much easier than using your fingers or tweezers, but you can use a lip or eye pencil or even a crayon. And now that I think of it, I wish I didn't spend the money on a specific pencil when I could have used these other items. Oh well. When attempting nail art, you know that things can get really messy. I like to clean up around the nail bed with a synthetic brush and a nail polish remover. You can use a brush specific to nail art. I bought mine in a set for around 5 bucks. Again, Sally's has them, but they're really expensive. Or you can use any other synthetic brush like a concealer brush, a lip brush, or an eyeliner brush. I would try e.l.f. since a lot of their brushes are around $1. Next up is glitter nail polish. Even if you use a single nail polish color, glitter is an easy way to add interest to your look, and you can do so many things with them, and you can find them at any drugstore. If you've seen my channel before, you know that I love chunky glitter as an accent nail for a bit of shine, or you can do a glitter gradient or even place the glitter bits in specific patterns too. For me personally, the easiest nail art technique is making dots. I bought my metal tip dotting tools from Amazon. They last forever, so this is a nail art staple. If you haven't gotten around to buying a set for yourself, you can DIY a few different sizes from a few household items, like an old pen, the end of a brush, a pin, blunt or pointy toothpick ends, snip a bristle off a cheap hairbrush, or use a bobby pin. I'd still recommend a metal set, but this is good if you're just starting out. Aluminum foil is my behind the scenes nail art essential. When working with Donnie tools or brushes, I always use foil as my paint palette instead of dipping it into the actual bottles. When painting, I dip my brush or dotting tool in and then I just paint. It's cheap, it's self-explanatory, and it's an important nail tool for me. To make nail art designs besides dots, I like to use nail art striping polish or long thin nail brushes. My favorite stripers are water-based because they apply smoothly. Using polish can get gunky and goopy really quickly. If you want, you can use acrylic paint, it's easy to work with, it's cheaper than nail polish, and it's easy to mix your own colors. Just apply top coat and you're good. I bought my Orly water-based stripers online, but you can also get them from Walmart from the brand Salon Perfect. Okay, let's talk about cleanup again, because cleanup is seriously half the battle when it comes to nice nails, and I think you know this. I now use liquid latex for super messy nail art applications like sponging and water marbling. It's just as good as the expensive stuff for a fraction of the price and for a whole lot of product. And if you're allergic, other options are a brush and nail polish remover, tape around the nail, Vaseline, or even Elmer's glue. Another nail art essential is a box of toothpicks. Toothpicks are cheap and they can be used in so many ways when it comes to nail art. You can use them like a brush and drag it to make designs. You can use them to make dots like I mentioned before, or you can use it with water marbling. Sponges for gradients! Oh yeah! I used to use latex-based sponges. One of you suggested to try the latex-free versions and it is so much better at making a smooth gradient. Gradients create a lot of impact in nail art. Just mix up your favorite color combos into a gradient and you'll see what I mean. One more thing to mention is nail stamping. Technically, this is the 11th item in this list, but I'd say it's more of an intermediate to advanced nail art essential. If you're really serious about nail art, stamping really looks amazing, and once you get the hang of it, it's much faster than freehand. Those were my top 10, actually 11, nail art essentials. Give it a thumbs up if you liked this video or found it helpful. Next week, I'll put out another nail tutorial just for you. Bye bye Hey, did... Did they click like? If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. We have no thumbs. <laughs> please subscribe. Bye.